fight, if, 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 you, if I may. Uh, we got Errol Spence and Ugas coming up. That's a tough fight. I like Errol, but it's a tough fight for both fighters. How about that? My, my last one I want to get your take on, man. Uh, Spence Ugas, great, great welterweight fight. Uh, very tricky stylistically, both guys, I feel. Spence smoke him. Really? Done. Flay. It's over. Did you break down the Spence versus Ugas fight? What do you think about that? No, I didn't break it down, so I, I can't really give a good basis on it. But I know you, Ugas is a really good fighter. Yeah, really technical. Technical. So. What did you think about when he, you saw him when he fought Manny? Yeah, he. I mean, he was so big. I mean, yeah, big and true. technical. It's like a hard fight for If Manny was younger, he would have been able to have more energy to keep going, keep going, keep going. But. He's just past his time. Spence is a guy that's probably as big as him. He's very technical. I don't know, do you feel people are writing off Ugas a little bit? Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Ugas is always going to be a difficult fight for anybody. He beat Sean Porter, you know what I mean? But he gave it to Sean, but you know, he's hard to beat. He's like, right, he's Cuban? Cuban guy. That's why. That's why. Yeah. 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 Another big one I wanted to take on, man, uh, Spence Ugas. Big, uh, big, big welterweights. Uh, Ugas coming off the Pacquiao win. Spence. You know, just coming off the Garcia win, always just looks, looks like Spence, you know, the, one, one of the best in the world. When Spence and uh, when that, that class of Olympics came out, I predicted or I thought that uh, Spence and uh, Marcus Brown would be the cream of the crop, would be the champions. And fortunately, uh, I was right. And the only problem, uh, Marcus Brown has had some issues, private issues. But Spence, I think, is... Uh, is uh, If that were to happen and we actually see Ugas, I'm sorry, Crawford and Spence, do you, I'm sorry, do you think we will see Crawford and Spence? I sure hope so. Mm -hmm. I sure hope so because that's the kind of fight, a throwback to the, to the Leonard, Hagler, Hearns, uh, Benitez and Duran uh, era. I hope so because uh, that's, the, that's the fight that I think a lot of people are clamoring for. I still think the Spence beats Crawford. I think the bigger man beats the smaller man. Um, but it's a heck of a fight. I would love to see that. Hey, well, man, uh, I love picking your brain on boxing, bro. It's the best. It's, uh, you, you're very knowledgeable. Thank you so much for your time always, bro. I, I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Thank you very much. Spence and Ugas, you know, I know Ugas, he's a great guy, so I'm cheering for him, but I kind of know Spence, too, so he's a great fighter. I think, feel like Ugas has a little tough to work a little bit more because uh, Spence is a little bit more solidified in that, that weight class and what he's accomplished, so it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a good fight, man. Good fight. Otro pelea que, que quiero su opinión. Um, un oponente uh, pasada de, 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 de ti, uh, Errol Spence, oh, piensa que, que va a pelear con uh, Ordena Zucas. ¿Qué, ¿Qué piensas de esa pelea? Creo que va a ser una gran pelea. Una gran pelea donde, eh, bueno, eh, Jordan y Zucas es un gran peleador con un gran corazón que pelea, boxea y es muy fuerte. Yo he tenido la... la eh, el agrado de poder hacer sparring con él, de poder compartir un campamento en Vegas con él, él cuando estaba con Ismael Salas. Eh, creo que bueno, ahora tengo que pelear con... Eh, bueno, yo he peleado con Errol Spence y, y nada, le gané en un pre panamericano en Venezuela y, y nada, creo que, que bueno, el profesional es otra cosa, pero... Pero nada, eh, le he ganado y, y espero el día de mañana hacer una pelea ¿no? contra, contra Spen, porque en una revancha a, a nivel profesional. ¿Piensas que va a, a ganar una revancha con, con Spen si él sube a 154? Si es que sube, lo voy a esperar y lo voy a retar. Espero que lo acepte. Pero bueno, primero es lo primero. Y primero tengo una guerra contra Germán Charlo. Después, bueno, mi ambición es esa, obviamente, pero primero está mi mente en esta pelea. Uh, man, uh, Spence Ugas just had their press conference. They're uh, 
pretty big welter weights. Um, yeah. Well, what, what do you think about that fight? How, how does that fight play out? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I, th I think a lot of people are, are overlooking uh, Ugas. I think Ugas has uh, a lot going for him. Size, he's difficult. He, he's, he's got power, strength. So all that, I think, I think is gonna help him perform better than people expect. I still feel that Spence should be the better boxer and possibly the reason for his win, he should win the fight, but not an easy win. I think Gulas can, can still surprise a lot of people. You know, he surprised a lot of people when he fought Manny, so I, I think those are things to consider, you know, but if you look at the boxing skills, well then if that's the only the only factor, then Spence probably the better boxer and he should win for the reason. What a Southpaw tricks do, do, does Spence do that you would, you know, maybe tell Ugas to look out for? You know, anytime you fight a Southpaw, it's always going to be a little tricky. Um, you just got to be, got to be prepared. Um, Ugas is bigger size than me, so obviously he can fight differently. Um, his size advantage, uh, I, I didn't have that, you know. So that's a different way of fighting. I think Ugas' strength and power will be will be also very helpful for him. Um, Spence's boxing IQ is, is superb, though. He knows how to come in, when to step out, what distance to handle. Very good at, at managing the distance. So it's, it's going to be a difficult fight for both, you know, for different reasons.